Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, you probably guessed, we're making a river anchor. Right after this. Hey guys, today's subject's on making a river anchor. Anchors can get very expensive. Here's one I found on Facebook for a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. Not exactly like today's anchor, but pretty dang close. So I decided I'd show you how I'm making one. Yeah, some of those anchors are pretty expensive. I think I got about 15 bucks into today's anchor. And it's really not that hard. And if you can't weld, you probably know somebody that can. You're probably saying, I don't have a welder. Well, go to Harbor Freight, pay 80 bucks and get you a welder. If there's something in this life you want to do, then learn how to do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> oh. Look, the point is, if you want to do something, do it. If you got a bag bar or steel, do it. Mm, I shouldn't have said that. Don't steal. We don't steal. We don't steal. If you want to learn to do something in this life, it's you just got to learn it. Now let's get into the project. What we're going to need for this project is about 12 inches of two inch square tubing. It's got eighth inch walls. We're gonna need about 30 inches of flat stock. Two inches wide, one eighth inch thick. This here is a 36 inch piece of round steel steak. I paid $3.50 for this. And the only reason for this is to add some weight to the anchor. I'm just taking a half inch off of each corner. I want it like a point, but I don't want it dangerous. Okay, so we got our 12 inch piece done and ready to be welded. We got our two cross pieces for the bottom of our anchor. We got our bottom pieces for our anchor. They don't have to be perfect. The main thing is make sure they're not sharp so they won't hurt you when you're out in your boat. Now on these, we're gonna measure in four inches, put a line, and we're gonna try to bend them up 45 degrees. I need a break. Not that kind of break. I need a metal break. Hey man, what's up? Don't you have a brake press? Care if I use it? Okay, I'll be over in just a minute. Had to come to my buddy David Buff. Master craftsman. <laughs> he can do it all. <laughs> if you guys don't know David Buff, you should. He was on my catfish tournament video and he was on the catfish conference video with me. Alright, right there. Let's look at it. That's what I'm talking about. He's a little modest, but he really is a master craftsman.
Okay, we got it welded up. We just welded it to keep the water out of it. Got the bottom welded. It's all solid. Now we need to fill it up to add some weight to it. All right, guys, I got the round stock cut down. I got it in there. I took some scrap metal I had and hammered it down in there. It's, get, it's getting pretty heavy now. It's getting a little bit of weight to it. And I got a cap cut. We're gonna weld it on now. All right, we got our cap welded on. Went ahead and grinded it down smooth. The chain will be attached to the bottom, so if it gets snagged up, you can pull it loose. Now we need to get a chain, cut it in half, make us a couple of loops, and weld those on the top and weld it on the bottom. Okay, I got the top welded, got the bottom on. I put the chain on the anchor, weighed it, and all together it was 13 pounds. I was hoping for 15, but 13 ain't bad. Next, we'll get it painted up. Got one coat on it. Let this dry, we'll flip it over and paint the bottom. The way you want to hook your chain up, you hook it to the bottom. When you get to the top, you take a small tie strap. You run it through the top loop, run it through your chain. The way it's designed, if the anchor gets hung on something, you can't get it off. If you pull it hard, it'll break the tie strap and flip it over. Okay, let's say your anchor gets hung up like it is here. What you want to do is pull the anchor hard enough to break the tie strap and it'll come loose. Let's see if we can do it. Let's say you pull and pull and you can't break it loose. What you can do is tie your anchor rope onto a cleat and use your motor to break the anchor loose. Well, it turned out pretty good if I don't say so myself. I'm sure I'll get a lot of good use out of it. So remember, if you want to do something, it's up to you to get it done, so do it. Don't steal it. If you haven't yet, click subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notifications when I post. I do a lot of DIYs, and if you have an idea that you'd like to see me make, leave it in the comment section, and I'll do my best. Fishing and stuff, out.